Thanks for staying with us. The Anambra decides uh, we are here to bring you up to date with what's going on and the latest information from uh, Anambra State regarding the governorship election there today. So uh, right now we have uh, joining us from Anambra, Dr. Gabriel Wambu. He's the Executive Director, Center for Credible Leadership and Citizens Awareness. Uh, he's joining us to bring us up to speed and also make sense of some of the developments we're receiving uh, from Anambra State, especially from the perspective of where he is. Uh, Dr. Wambu, it's good to have you join me this morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me. Great. Now, uh, I know you've been following the process, uh, the voting process so far. Uh, from your assessment, what can you make of uh, some of the developments from the uh, voting process so far? Yeah, the voting process is uh, on, although you have um, a few areas where the BVAS that was introduced by INEC uh, uh, as an alternative to the card reader machine um, has failed in some areas, but uh, generally the BVAS is um, capturing both uh, the biometrics and facial pictures of people um, across the state, and then voting is on. Although um, we can say that uh, voting materials arrived at about um, 845 in most of the areas we visited uh, there are a few areas like uh, in Oka, the ukwoji uh, voting unit 006 005 and then um, the voting unit at the uh, ministry of lands uh, voting has commenced but uh, the with the polling unit 006 the beavers has not uh, performed optimally both the fingerprint capturing and facial capturing has failed. So we have just informed the technical um, support to come uh, salvage the situation here. All right. Besides the initial uh, preliminary challenges that we are seeing with the beavers, uh, the technology being deployed for this election, do you see it as a game changer so far? Yes, uh, you see, the, the technology being uh, uh, used here, uh, especially as it affects the beavers, you know, is superior to that of the card reader. Remember, the card reader has been tested in Isoko, Isoko not uh, uh, by election, one of the by elections that INEC has conducted in the recent past, and it uh, worked effectively. It worked very perfectly. And this is the first time. INEC is using the beavers in a large uh, 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 election, like a governorship election uh, in recent times. And this is uh, also like a pilot um, exercise, you know. So, but I think the technology is good because it captures both the fingerprint and the facial uh, pictures. So, with both of them, it is superior to just the card reader that captures just the a fingerprint that's the biometric fingerprint you know alone so the beavers is uh, the way to go all right now let's talk about the issue of uh, security the federal government has uh, deployed heavy security to uh, anambra state for the election and for obvious reasons which we all know uh, some analysts are saying that the presence of heavy security around uh, in some quarters will, should give some level of confidence to those who originally wouldn't have come out due to uh, the development as a build-up to this election. Others are saying that uh, one way or the other is going to create fear in the minds of people. Uh, how do you balance this from your analysis? No, thank you so much. Uh, you see, here in Anambra State, no doubt the apprehension the apprehension is very high here amidst um, separatist groups, amidst uh, massive deployment of armed um, security operatives. And uh, no doubt it's going to impair negatively on um, the turnout of voters. I recall also that... Uh, Anambra State is a state that has not recorded more than 20, 22% uh, voter turnout since 1999. Uh, that is the 
resurgence of uh, democracy in Nigeria a second time. So, you see, we do not expect even up to uh, this 22 percent, uh, which has been the maximum for which uh, voter turnout has been witnessed in the state in the past. So, um, generally, we expect a very high level of uh, voter apathy because uh, the number of uh, electorate we've seen in the field today um, is nothing close to the 22 percent. So, it's impairing uh, uh, negatively on it, although. The government has good intentions in terms of protecting the lives and property of um, uh, uh, citizens. You know, that is why the deployment was deemed necessary. But also, we, we can see also that we have um, a malignant case of um, the unknown gunmen and all that around the state. So, um, both of them are working negatively in terms of... Uh, affecting the disposition of the electorates in Anambra State. Okay. Uh, Dr. Gabriel Nwambu, thank you very much for talking to us. We